Hi, so good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture about electrotechnology number one. So today we're going to discuss the basic about the lighting system that can be found on board ship. Okay, so let's get started. So the power of a ship's lighting is typically achieved and then fed from a step-down transformers that reduce 440 volts boards to 220 volts boards. So identification and isolation of faulty lighting circuits can be safely undertaken at these boards. For an engineer or marine engineer, future marine engineers, to tackle lighting problems, it is important to understand the most common types of lightings found on ships. And this includes the incandescent, halogen, fluorescent, and light emitting diodes or LED. Incandescent lighting, this form of lighting has been in use for over 110 years so and is available in variety of sizes and wattages. Incandescent valves are formed with glass container that encapsulates a filament usually made of tungsten and tantalum and an inert gas that prevents oxidation and corrosion of the filament. At the base of the valves are the metal's contacts that pass the electric current to the filament which glows and produces light. Incandescent lighting is generally cheap, dimmable, and easy to store. However, they are very inefficient with around 90% of their energy being lost as a heat. So halogen lighting can be thought as a refined version of incandescent lighting. The construction can appear similar or even more compact and come in a variety of forms. The bulb has an enclosure containing the tungsten, filament, and small amount of halogen. The use of halogen with tungsten prevents the blackening effect seen with regular incandescent lighting so this is normally seen the dark particles seen on the inner surface at its nears the end of life so this provides a brighter more energy efficient bulb with a longer lifespan than regular incandescent lighting however they can result in a problematic glare effects on ice and operate at high temperatures enough to burn skins or damage some materials. Fluorescent lighting, on the other hand, is typically a fluorescent light circuit consists of an arc discharge tube, a ballast, and a starter switch. So the discharge tubes has an internal phosphor coating and contains argon gas with small amount of mercury. At the end of each discharge are electrodes known as cathodes. So the starter provides an electric supply to the cathodes causing them to heat. The cathodes are coated with a material that disperses electrons. So the starter will break the circuit when the cathodes are releasing electrons uh, effectively. The electrons then pass through the argon gas from one end of the tube to the other completing the circuit and vaporizing this mercury. The collision of electrons, atoms, and mercury excites the electrons, releasing light photons. So these photons hit the phosphor coating within the tube resulting in visible light. The ballast, also known as the choke, regulates the current in the circuit, preventing a short circuit across the lamp when the temperature rises. So the fluorescent lighting has a longer lifespan and is more energy efficient than incandescent lighting. However, they are more expensive, are difficult to implement a dimming function and require a more complex circuitry. The light emitting diodes or LED uh, is a semiconductor that emits light when an electric current is passed through it. Silicon is the commonly used semiconductor that can create a PN junction diode which emits light when forward biased. 
the LEDP injunction is in case in a plastic to protect the LED from an environment that enclosure and the enclosure helps direct the light produced. So suitable for a variety of environments, long lasting with instant operation that requires no warm up. LEDs are very efficient and typically require 85% less energy than an incandescent light. However, quality can vary depending on the manufacturer and sections of LED lighting can become defective through the solder cracking or poor connections. So powering an LED lighting circuit requires an LED driver. So this is a device that regulates the power applied to maintain a reliable performance. LED drivers can be uh, either constant current or constant voltage. So the input voltage of a device driver or LED device driver is usually in the form of AC with output voltage applied to LED in a form of DC. So constant LED drivers are used with LED circuits designed specifically for a constant voltage during operation. So the most uh, common types will demand 24, 12 volts, 24 volts, or 48 volts, but this can vary. Constant voltage drivers are normally used with an LED fixtures or arrangement that already have a built-in current driver. So their job in this situation is to supply the necessary stable input voltage. Okay, so the main reference for this discussion is from the Practical Marine Electrical Knowledge by Dennis T. Hall. So if you have some questions or clarifications, please comment down below and I will try to answer your questions as soon as I can. So good luck and God bless.